me. Hey guys, it's Casey Scout. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to ding ding. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a single one of my final videos. So as you guys know, I love BL, I love handsome men. I'm learning Japanese, and I am also learning how to teach English to Japanese people. What book can you possibly get that meets all of those qualifications and still keeps you enjoyed? Let me recommend, let me introduce you to Ikemon Ikawa Buddha Zoo or Learn English Conversations by Handsome Men. And if you're like me, you read this book as if these two and the other boys in this book are lovers. And fun fact guys, there is actually a love story within this book. So read it as you might. I actually put some of my pictures that you see of Cubic up here and in other spaces of my room in this book and I like to imagine that the boys of Cubic are teaching me Japanese or I'm teaching the boys of Cubic English. So this is book is on Amazon. It sadly sold out the day I got it, but I'll leave you a link to it anyways down in the description below. I will also have the title in the um, description and up on the video so you guys can search this book. I know they have a lot of these in Japan, but I don't know how available they are in other countries, so please you can either put in the English title in a translator or you can copy the Japanese title and look it up yourself. This is an audiobook, so in different countries they have audios for this and so each boy is voiced by a real life handsome guy in Japan. So if you guys are like me and are a visual person and you have a certain boy you like or a certain group you like, you can take pictures of them or use your imagination and imagine you're teaching them English or they're teaching you Japanese. So one of the things I absolutely love this, about this book, <laughs> Kiyoharu, is the illustrations. The illustrations are very fun, cute. It's like a manga and just look at this beautiful boy. So one of the things you guys should know about this book is it's mostly in Japanese, but there are English in it. English translations in it, but just know there are no Hormaji translations. Hormaji is our English alphabet that is used to spell out Nihongo words. So what I've been doing is going through and translating translating everything into Hormaji. My I can read hiragana and katakana, but I cannot read kanji very well. So I've been going through and basically putting all of it into Hormaji, and that has helped me a lot. Stay tuned to part two. Time's running up. So continuing on, what I like about this book is the illustrations. My headphones are falling, that's fun. And also just everything that goes along with the picture. Again, it is mostly in Japanese, but if you have a trans, a good translator, you can easily translate it into Romaji if your Japanese reading skills are not up to a kanji like mine is. And what I love is the illustrations really go well with this. So this one is Majide. Seriously, you're kidding? And you like ultra beard like I do, you know Maji means seriously. And then they also go into explaining right here what it means. This is the English uh, English teaching part. So as someone who is learning how to be an English teacher, I like translating this and reading so it explains to me how to teach English to Japanese. What, let me find it, okay. So what they have in here are like copy breaks and basically it explains, here I'll show you guys. So this is called a coffee break. Basically it's like a short lesson of teaching English such as the V and B sounds. So in Japanese they have certain vowels and so certain sounds that are not in the English language. These sounds are very hard for the Japanese to pronounce and a lot of times I have had come across students who have this trouble. One of my friends who is a songwriter was um, wanted me to show him how to um, pronounce certain words and one of the word letters he could not get was B. He always pronounced it wrong and I thought it was still pretty cute. I think um, when I hear even, especially idols, when they're trying to speak English, it's just the most precious and cutest thing because you know they're trying so hard and it's just really adorable. So I really love these mini English teaching lessons so that way I can learn how to teach um, my Japanese friends English and I have an easier time explaining it. So for the last part of this little book introduction video, I wanna introduce the... 
my headphones fell over, knocking stuff off my desk and making my cat go out the door. So these are the character diagrams of each one. And so basically it's a love story. You're the main protagonist and if you have like a boyfriend, you have a friend, um, a lot of different co-workers and they go into detail about their age, blood type, birthday, occupation, favorite, and what phrases they say, national name. And so it's really, really cool. But again, if you're like me who likes BL and as someone who likes to uh, fantasize and visualize, I sometimes put these pictures up in front of these boys and pretend I am teaching cubic or cubic is teaching me English. Or, I know English, Japanese. So if you guys like this type of video, hit subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Meow.